What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Sean and today... Oh, who loves the flow of this? Shoo oh. up! The emotion, the power... And then it just explodes! <laughs> okay. What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Sean and today we're going to be reacting to Itzy's Sugarholic video. There is, we are back with some more Itzy getting into uh, one of the B-sides from their Japanese Ringo album, uh, which Ringo was such, such a good song and uh, it's probably, honestly, probably one of my favorite of the Japanese tracks. But now we're finally getting into some of the B-sides from this album. Oh, well, some of the B-sides we already know because um, this is, a, I believe it's a full album, so typically what at least JYP groups do for their Japanese the full albums is they add up all of the previous Japanese singles since the last uh, album. So we know a couple of the B-sides, like uh, I believe, well, all of the previous singles are in there, but this is one of the ones that we haven't reacted to yet. And it's got like a, a video kind of, I, I guess it's like um, when Stray Kids does just a video, it's kind of like a music video, something along those lines. Maybe it's one of those self-made ones that they've done a couple of times for some of their uh, Korean tracks. I have no idea, but I'm excited. Let's get right into it. This looks like it might be high quality. It might just be an actual like B-side music video, like Stray Kids doesn't. I thought there were captions, so I guess not. Japanese on the right, but. Chukaholic. Man, I want, I want a Walkman. Ooh. Oh, I was honestly not expecting it to be like a more chill song. I thought the that... morning comes, a mother blessing. Ooh. Why don't we take it easy? Hey. Like an RV with a little bit of a trabby beat. That's dope. Gorgeous vibrato and nine. That's lovely vocal progression. We're up and down. Man, that's, this is so good. Mm. Really lovely vocal showcase, I gotta say. And all five members. Really nice synths. Ooh. I think that was Hujin's really full of vocals, man. Mm. 
The turnaround fusion finding out finding where she belongs. Damn, okay, that was Itzy's sugar holic video. First of all, a really nice video. Like it's it's very, very down to earth. It's it, it just plays around them, you know, I guess walking around the streets, walking around places where you know you'd find you, you feel it feels like you could fight yourself and and that kind of makes you connect a little bit extra with not just the music video, but also with the um with the actual song. Love the song. I really, really love the vocals that I showcased. And a thing I noticed, especially in a song like this, where we get really, really beautiful vocals from all five of them, is the fur like it's the, the further we get in their career, like the, the the better they they become. Not just the better they become, but the more experienced they become, the more like I I, I don't know how to explain it, but the the, the more. I don't know what word to use, but but it's like they're more sure sure of their of their own vocals, if that kind of makes sense. So we get a more distinct vocal in between all five of them. So it's very very easy to tell apart each of their different styles when each of their different vocals are good to be used. One really good example is how deep Eugene is singing here, like how much she's just comforted herself around that vocal that she has that really deep vocal and it's used perfectly throughout this uh, throughout the song really really good song i gotta say i cannot wait to get into the rest of i think there are three other b-sides or something from this album we gotta check out and i cannot wait to get into those but guys that was it's these sugar holic video i do love that they are making videos like this like i i, I gotta say i i've been pretty bummed that the only jyp group that does all of these b-side music videos has been straight kids because i want all of them to do these b-sides videos because it, like without a doubt having a some kind of music video just gather gain us more attention for the actual song so i think it's a, an ingenious idea to actually have those so it's really it's a really really nice surprise to see it's beginning to make those and I, and I hope they're going to be doing more of them for their future albums like maybe for two or three of their b-sides instead of just one i think that'd be i think that'd be a really really good idea it puts more of a spotlight on the b-sides and not just the uh, the title track despite obviously the title tracks also being amazing i think it's good to see a little bit of that extra spotlight on the amazing b sets and I love this. I really, really like this one, Sugar Holic. It's just so relaxed. Not at all what I was expecting when I just read the title. I thought it was going to be a little something kind of cutesy and, and like a little, little bit bubble puppy, but no, this was just like like R&B and with a little bit of a, a, a trap beat in the background, and I love that. It was really good, but let me know what you guys thought about Itzy's Sugar Holic video down in the comments below, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>